I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a video which is meant for my student who missed the class. So the question here is, ship R is moving from port A minus 8 3 in the direction 3 4 at a speed of 10 kilometers per hour. Find an expression for the position of the ship in terms of t where t is number of hours after leaving port A. B. Find the time when ship is closest to port P, which is located at 10.2. Find the closest distance to port P of the ship, right? So that's the question for you. You can always pause the video, answer, and then look into my suggestions. Now let's try to understand what this position vector is, and then we'll see how speed and velocity are related, and we'll also see how to find the closest time and distance. Okay, so what we are given here is it's good to make a sketch and then we'll discuss it further. Okay, let's say that's a coordinate plane. We are given port A at minus 8, 3. So let's say minus 8 somewhere here and 3 somewhere there. So we are given port A kind of here. And the ship is moving in the direction 3, 4. So 3, 4 means that this is like minus 8. So it's like 1, 2, 3. And 4 will be, uh, we are taking this as 3. So 4 will be pretty high. So okay. anyway, just approximate. Let's say, let's say this point. So ship is moving along this straight line, kind of like this. And this is called port A. The speed is 10 kilometers per hour. So what we given here is initial position. So we'll call this uh, point P, uh, I mean, let's say port A, as the initial position of minus 8, 3. Uh, we are also given speed, which is 10 kilometers per hour. Speed should be treated as the magnitude of velocity, correct? We are given direction m as 3, 4. To find velocity, we need unit vector in this direction. So unit vector will be uh, the vector divided by its magnitude. So in this case, it will be 3, 4 divided by square root of 3 square plus 4 square which you know is 5, right? 9 plus 16 square root 25 is 5. So it is one fifth of 3, 4, correct? Since we know speed and we know the direction unit vector, we can write the velocity vector as magnitude of velocity times this unit vector, which is, uh, okay, which we just found here, okay. So let me rewrite this as uh, as uh, speed is given to us as 10 and the unit vector we just calculated. So over 5, 3, 4. And that gives us 6, 8. Correct. So that becomes the velocity for us. Now part A, let's try to answer part A. I hope simple now. Find an expression for position of the ship in terms of T, where T is the number of hours after leaving port A. So this position in terms of X, which is a function of time, and Y, which is also a function of time, can be written as the initial position, right? X0, Y0 plus t times the the velocity vector okay so so what should i write okay so so the velocity vector uh, which is uh, well let's do components vx vy okay so so we could write our answer straight since we know the initial point here is minus 8 3 that is a position vector so when we say position vector, 
we are relating it with origin right so that becomes the position vector which is minus a3 and we are moving along this direction which is 6a doesn't make sense that is we are moving along this direction right so any point on this line which is any general point like this could not be represented by this do you understand so let this point be just say x y does it make sense to you so that is your vector equation so we call this as a vector equation is it okay for position so i hope this concept is clear so first thing is very very important to understand what all i've done here basically i've taken this as my initial position we are given the direction 3 4 i created a unit vector from this multiplying unit vector with the speed gives me the velocity vector velocity times t is displacement right so initial point plus displacement gives me final position right so so we are saying position at any time basically let me translate it in words position at any time t is initial position plus change in position correct and this is the change in position velocity into time right or displacement correct which is uh, which is which is velocity times time is it okay of course in vectors we are calling it scalar multiple which is represented by scalar multiple in vectors in vectors does it make sense to you so this is very important concept uh, to understand now we'll move on or take up this equation move on and do part b and c which is we'll find the time when the ship is closest to point 10 2 10 2 will be somewhere there let us say let us say somewhere here closest to 10 2 really means that uh, you know closest will be kind of like this that is the closest distance if and only if it forms 90 degrees is it okay so the idea here is that from point 10 to we'll take a general point x y here and dot product should be zero right so we'll do this in the next page okay so the idea is to find the shortest distance let me sketch again what we did there a copy of it okay so let's say that's the direction and what we are really interested in finding is the closest distance that means uh, perpendicular distance right uh, we are given this point as 10 to this point let's call this uh, vector as such let me write down the vector equation here uh, we are given position uh, as uh, let's say x y equals to uh, minus 8 3 which is this point uh, plus t times the direction in this is we found the unit vector 6 8 correct so so that point let's call this point as r let's call this point is the port a and this is the port p for us correct so that is what the position is so we have to find this distance it is closest if it is perpendicular correct okay so let r be a general point on the path of the ship correct so in that case what is r 
So the general point will be represented by this equation. So we could write this in, let's say, parametric form uh, as x equals to minus 8 plus 60, right? And y equals to 3 plus 8d. Is that okay? So that is the general point for r. Uh, we know what p is. p is 10, 2. And uh, we know what direction uh, r is in, right? So let's say ar, ar direction is known to us. And this is 6, 8. Correct? You could also write 3, 4, simplified 4. Now that should help us to figure out everything. So first, let's find what PR is, okay? So let's find what PR is. So PR will be, so to find PR, let's do in vertical form, we could do uh, 10 minus this, right? So these are the two vectors. So R is minus eight plus six T, we'll take away 10. And the Y value is three plus eight T will take away two. So that is PR, which is, uh, this becomes minus 18 plus 60, and this is uh, 1 plus 8T, correct? Now, the dot product, when it is right, then that means the dot product PR to AR should be equal to 0. So I should say 0 equals to this. Perfect. So let's find the dot product. So the dot product here is minus 18 plus 60, 1 plus 8t dot 6, 8. Correct. So we can multiply uh, this by 6 and uh, then do the needful. So Actually, I should have taken 3, 4. It becomes simpler calculations anyway. So let me do like this. 6 times minus 18 plus 60 plus 8 times 1 plus 8t equals to 0, right? So we'll solve this equation. So let's take a calculator now. So 18 times 6. 108 so minus 108 plus 36 t plus 8 plus 64 t equals to 0 now minus 108 and 8 is 100 so we get 100 and 36 plus 64 t is also 100 good so this is minus 100 this is plus 30 i mean 100 t equals to 0 and that gives us t equals to 1 perfect so we got t equals to 1. Now, if t is 1, what is r? We get the point r. Is it okay? So now we have answered one question. Shortest distance, shortest time. So the time taken will be an hour. That means uh, time taken. Okay. Is an hour since t equals to 1. Does it make sense? So we got one part. Now, to find the shortest distance, let's find what r is. Okay, so, so what we'll do is we'll plug in t equals to 1 in this equation for r. Correct? So let's do it. So we have this. Now, we'll start from here. So r is equal to x value is minus 8 plus 6 since t is 1 right and the y value is 3 plus 8 and that gives you uh, I mean minus 2 and this gives you 11 correct so for r let me write this as minus 2 11 perfect so we know r is minus 2 I mean it should have been this side okay so forget about y axis 11 okay right since we know what r is, what is the shortest distance? Okay, so let me write down shortest distance g magnitude is square root of. 
So we'll use the distance formula, right? Okay, let me give you a distance formula here first. Distance magnitude absolute value will be x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square square. Perfect. So let's do this. Now, so 10 and this 12. So we have 10 minus 2. I mean, that makes it 12. Minus minus becomes plus. Uh, plus, what do you mean? 11 and this is uh, this is 2, right? So, so we did 10 minus this. We'll do 2 minus 11. Okay, 2 minus 11 whole square, which is 9. So we get square root of, you can add this up, right? So let's do it. So we have square root of 12 square plus 9 square, okay? And let's calculate how much it is. It is 15, okay? So let me write down here 144 plus 81, which is 15, okay? So, so the distance is 15 and the units are, let's see, kilometers. So time is one hour and distance is 15 kilometers. So this distance is 15 kilometers. Perfect. So we get our answer. Time to reach. Time for closest distance. Is one hour, an hour and shortest distance is 15 kilometers from port B. Perfect. So that is how you can actually solve such a question. I hope these steps are absolutely clear. This is a very important question from test point of view. So go through it once again. Feel free to write your comments, share your views. And if you like and share my videos, that'd be great. Thank you and all the best.